Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins where everything is recording properly, everything is awesome, everything is cool, and I was going to show you something that I was reading in the Codex. I got all caught up on the culture and history. The only thing I saw was the history of Soldier's Peak. Um... It was spilled several decades after the second blight was ended. Oh, we read that. We did read that. We did. We read that. Okay, so, but I, again, like, unless it's up here, I can't see what's new. So I was kind of going through and trying to figure out what I hadn't read. Um, I don't know if we read Lake Kalanhad, uh, but it seemed really cool. The, so the waters of Lake Kalanhad are steeped in legends. The Avar people say it was once the site of Belenos, the mountain which stood at the center of the world from which Korth, the mountain father, surveyed the earth and sky. But it was destroyed in the battle between Korth and the serpent Nathramar, leaving only a vast crater behind. When the Lady of the Sky saw that Belenos was gone, she wept, and her tears filled the crater, making the lake. The Tevinters believe the waters of Lake Kalanhad were blessed by Razakale, god of mystery, and that those who drink... I'm not sure if it's Razakale or Razakale. I think in Inquisition I started calling it Razakale, but I'm not sure if I heard it that way. Because I think we encounter a... a the remnants of a cult of Razakale in in uh, the Frostbacks, Jaws of Con Delcy. Um, they people who drank from the water were granted special insights. This is why they built the Great Tower on an island in the middle of the lake, hoping the powers of the lake would aid their magical research. So that's the Tower of Magi. I didn't realize. I mean, it has, I knew it had been there forever, but I didn't realize that the Defender had made it. But most of us know the legend of King Kalanad, which gives the place its name. It is said that Kalanad Theron. Therin spent a year and a day in the Tower of the Magi. Each day, he drew a single cup of, full of water from the lake and carried it to the Formari at the top of the tower. Still not quite sure what a Formari is. By magic, each cup of water was forged into a single ring of the male armor the circle gave to Kalanhad. In that armor, made from the lifeblood of the land itself, no blade could strike him, no air pierce him, as long as he stood on the Ferelden soil. Which I think is really cool. I'm not sure if you've read that before, but I had just finished reading, I think, the history of Ferelden again, just to kind of give myself a... A, uh, you know, timeline again. Um, but it did say that um, because he got the circle of the cir the, the support of circle of magi, they crafted him a sil of s suit of silvery white armor that repelled arrow and blade, um, and that he had the ash warriors with him as well. Um, but I was like, ooh, silvery white armor. I wonder if I can find that. And then it came up again in the. Like Kalen had, so that was, but that's how they made it, I guess, is like, you know, that's the legend anyway, is that each cup was forged into a single ring, and that's pretty freaking cool. I I thought we had gotten some stuff updated on here, like Life in Orzammar, Deep Road, but I went through and I didn't see anything that was different. Um, and I couldn't find the, the shape rate thing in here, which I thought was in here, but I, I get, it's not, if it's, if it didn't show up here, then it's not gonna be updated. Um, yeah, I think that was, that was everything we got. So, cool, cool. Okay. I'm going to save it really quick again, so I don't have to go through and read all that again. Um, Alright, let's do this. Uh, wait, no, I shouldn't go in there. Okay, I will... Oh, shoot! I don't think I've done Zeb tactics! Oh, crap, I did not realize that. I will have to do that. Zeb, get in there, you idiot! In Zeb, get in here! You idiot! Right. Oh wow, there's a big guy back there. Nope, not, I don't want the lesser one. Oh, the big guy's already dead. What is- Oh, Alistair's like frozen or something. Okay, okay. Arcane Horror. I received money from the Arcane Horror. Lightning is so loud. Nope. A letter from Ban Thuin Wolf. Uh, 
Sophia, Arl Ruin and his entire family have been slaughtered, even the children. The Ruin line is no more, and the Arling belongs to the crown for now. Arlen believes Ruin was plotting against him. Ruin criticized the king's spending on Wintersen. That is all. It was an idle word spoken out of turn. The king goes too far. His brain is full of madness, and he clings to the crown like a drowning man clutches at a straw. Sophia, I beg you, help us. If nothing is done, more will suffer. Your humble servant, Wolf. So that's how it, uh... Don't worry. I That's won't how be it was one of the like it started. Um, but quick, okay, Zev. Uh, Zev, 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 Zev. Zev. Okay. Uh, tactics. Oh boy. So he needs to be aggressive. Uh, no, he needs to be able to flee. Um. No, wait. Uh, defensive? We'll fight back, but we'll not chase enemies. And we'll try to remain close to the player. Uh, party member will flee the location of a harmful. I need that. The fleeing thing is good. He's not ranged. So, either aggressive or. Um, oh, I actually, I need to be, I need to go check out his, his abilities. Um, dirty fighting, incapacitates target, takes no damage, but is stunned. Uh, rogue driver, dealing moral, normal combat damage, though imposing penalties. Oh, okay, so maybe if he's surrounded. Deadly strike. Gaining a bonus to armor penalty, keen eye. Oh, that's passive. Uh, additionally... Hmm, okay. So, mark of death. Marks target revealing weaknesses. Others of, and, oh, okay. All attacks against mark target do additional damage. Alright. Keen eye. Oh, it's passive. Um, during a successful back to stab attack, the assassin gains additional damage. Oh, maybe we should have him go into cunning. Um, if the rogue initiates combat. Okay, maybe we should have him go into cunning, like, or go into stealth, like, first thing. Oh, he can use items while sneaking. And he has that third one, though, it says. What's his cunning? I don't know. To try sneaking during combat. Okay. Uh, Kira become more proficient fighting with two weapons. That's passive. Okay, deals normal damage with the offhand. Sustain when a smoke character strikes with both weapons simultaneously. Attacks can cause more damage, but the character cannot inflict regular, regular critical hits or backstabs. Character strikes at a target. Oh, activate. Okay, strikes a target once, dealing normal damage as well as stunning the opponent unless it passes a physical resistance check. The character then strikes with the other weapon, generating a critical hit if the target was stunned. Okie dokie. Cripple. Character strikes level the target, gaining a momentary attack bonus and hitting critically if the attack connects. While crippling the target with penalties, moving the speed attack and defense unless it passes a physical resistance check. Dual weapon sweep. Okay, that's one he should do if he's surrounded by people. Okay, so we want to do that one if he's surrounded. Um, that's a sustained ability. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, passive. So he doesn't have very many abilities that are activated. Oh, he's got a couple, I guess. Um, dirty fighting. Um, dirty fighting and below the belt are things that he could do when he, if he's surrounded. I wouldn't want him to do them to all of the, to the same guy, you know? It's like, if he could sweep, uh, sweep around, uh, do a below the belt, uh, or this one. Like, to, like, do this to, like, one, and then do this to the next one, and then do that to the next one. You know, or something like that. Hmm. Let's just think about that. Maybe if he's being attacked by a very heavy guy, like a very, like a big guy, you know, or something. Who's being 
like is is too tough for him at the moment. He could do that one or that one. I mean, I guess we could just have a lot of options. I do want to try putting him in a stealth though and seeing how that goes. Let's um what's his cunning Wow, did I put all of it into dexterity or oh no, I think he has like a bonus to dexterity. Um I didn't put it any into did I not when I, when I oh I think I did. I think he was like really low on everything. So I do need to get his cunning up really quick. Jeez, I must have put a lot into dexterity. I think that's a little more necessary, but cunning is also really important. Some but his constitution's really low too at this point, so Jeez, I'm just gonna have to be like pouring it into cunning and constitution for the next little bit. Uh, okay then. Tactics. Okay. If target rank is elite or higher, that is a good one to do. <laughs> Enemy target using oh I think I did I did it ages ago but we can we have another one right target has a high or medium armor rating what was deadly strike again right so dealing normal damage gaining a bonus to armor oh wait 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 armor penetration. Uh, using a melee self if your health is less than or equal to no let's just do self health do you just have less than or no we only have greater than or less than or equal to okay for him weird okay if you're being attacked by a melee attack oh wait no 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 no, no. You're being attacked by a melee attack. Use dirty fighting. Target has a high... Let's do if the target has high armor rating. Yeah, if the target has high armor rating, use deadly strike. If you are surrounded by at least Two enemies use the dual weapon sweep. Um, let's do enemy rank is boss. Oh wait, no, normal or higher? No, we'll go with the elite. I get no. No, elite or higher is a good idea because, I mean, on this, he would be using it a lot. And he might just pick the first normal one instead of the elite one, so we'll leave it at that. Um, cripple. Hold on, let's see again. Oh, I, I wanted to put him in his stealth, too, like, at, at any time to have him go into stealth. Uh, crippling the target with penalties to movement speed, attack, and defense. Oh, God, this is difficult. I need more slots for him. Um, oh, man. Ah. In... Maybe self is any use. Still. Oh wait, it's a it's a, it's a sustainability activate stealth, and then deadly strike and duel. Okay, so we'll have to get more slots for him, but for now, this looks good. And what did we... Oh, shoot. Stealth it is. Oh! Okay! He went into... Okay! Wow! Okay, how long does that last? I thought it was like in, a, in any fight or something. 
Um, but, okay, can we go in these doors? I think I have him on defensive right now. We'll, a living wretched. we'll see how that goes. Whoa. Uh, let me try... I'm gonna try shape-shifting. Commander Althar. Uh, I'm gonna sit on you, I'm gonna sit on you. I'm not sure what, what, that, what that does. Maybe check that. Wings, or Warden Skeleton. I was like, Wings Skeleton, her, 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 her. Oh, are you? They're immune to my nature damage. Right? Is that what it's saying? Or. I don't know what it is. That's what the green means, right? Alright, cool. Well, uh, we did. That is really loud for me. Jeez. Let me turn it down a little bit. Hopefully, it's not. It doesn't look like it's too loud for you guys, but, uh, hopefully. Uh, message. Done. Were you in? I'll have to keep an eye on I wasn't keeping an eye on him. Solar's Peak is more than we bargained for. There is sinister magic at work here. The men are seeing things and cannot tell nightmares from reality. The fallen return to life and attack again and again, and we are attacked by dark creatures I like, which I've never seen. Whoever is responsible is intent on destroying us all, the King's army and the Grey Wardens both. Send help. We cannot last much longer. Commander Athlar. Athlar. Okay. So it's attacking both sides, like the undead rise. Potent health poultice. Uh, can you? A task? Can you do it? Oh, good, he did it. Warden's longsword. All complete. Um, so he can, at least he can lockpick while in stealth. Viridium chainmail. I don't think I need that, but cool. Those little ghosties are still floating around. Um, save. Battles aren't too difficult, but I just want to be sure. Just want to be sure. So I think Zed did okay. Maybe, maybe when I'm checking, when I'm editing the recordings, I'll be able to tell a little bit better what happened. But I'm not really even looking at him, you know. Okay, that this is a dead end door here. I keep waiting. Every time I open doors, I'm like trained to expect that something's gonna try and get me. Leather gloves reinforced. Okay, uh, I think actually that was uh, what Zev has on. It was something reinforced. Pushback. Oh, but he he already has the the pushback striders on. The lyrium waist gloves attempt the possibility of a fortune changing strike while instilling the lack of sense the lack of sense to risk it. <laughs> a dangerous escalation for an owner already so inclined. Plus five percent melee critical chance. And it doesn't say like you know, it doesn't like lessen his willpower or anything, so I can't climb ladders, right? Maybe Leliana has the reinforced stuff too. Uh, what's this? Is this? Nope, not an active door. Ah, okay, get in there. Where's Zeb? Zeb is still back here. You idiot, Zeb. Okay, yep. I'm not liking that. Okay, got him. This should be. He went in. He went in now. Maybe once I attack, he will attack. Let's go. This should be. Okay, got that out of the way. Archivist? What the heck? Oh, there's another one. Oh, whoops. I did that one instead. I mean... Okay, good. It knocked them over. Right. I think she just used the regeneration thing on me. Old ring. Archivist book. This book is badly burned. You can make a word out here and there, and that is all. Can you? The, oh, oh, what? Oh, memories. The door won't hold, Archivist. Oh, shoot. Almost done. The, the truth must be told. 
What does it matter? We're dead. Our grand rebellion so close. And to die here, a stillbirth. We never should have done it. Wardens aren't supposed to oppose kings and princes. Should we stand idly by? They certainly had a Another one. conversation. Rebellion? What's this about a rebellion? If only the book weren't burned. We already know all this. I thought we knew all this. Like, I read it in the Codex. That they rebelled against a tyrant king. Okay, this is, this is weird. Definitely weird. Because, I mean, it's kind of boring if I already know, and it's just kind of, like, frustrating that they don't know, you know? Maybe there are other records. We could only hope. Yeah, that one didn't make it. Uh, demon. Why did the de they turn into little sacks? Red steel chainmail. All right. They don't usually turn into sacks. Book. History of uh, the final years of Gaspar Asturian's command. Oh, okay. So that's part. Of, that's a quest thing. Okay. Um. Oh, whoa, um, no, don't want to do the notes. Culture and history, history, social, pre chapter two. As he approached his 60th year, rumors swirled that the corruption in Commander Asturian, Warden Commander Asturian's blood was beginning to take its toll. According to the reports from that time, the commander experienced terrifying waking dreams and heard his name whispered from the dark corners of Soldier's Peak. It is said that Asturian would spend hours locked up alone in the Great Hall of the base, muttering to himself, though no one was ever able to make out what he was saying. Many also believe that Asturian began in, in secret to draw up plans to expand his fortress, adding to it hidden passages and alcoves, all to protect himself from the shadows that pursued him. No one knows whether Asturian was able to complete his project, for his deterioration had become obvious to anyone who spent any amount of time with him. He was quickly replaced by Warden Commander Frieder ha Frieda Howick. Asturian was taken to Orzammar, where he submitted to the calling, the last rite of the Grey Wardens, and went to his death with honor. Hmm. So it could have been the calling... Or it could have been whatever evil magic was at play here. You know what I mean? Hopefully I had gotten everything on the first floor. Let's see. Door, library. I'm in the library. Kitchen, we were in the kitchen, the break room. Uh, can we check the map? Stairs up, archives, the mess hall, barracks, bar barracks, barracks. Yeah, I'm an American. Woohoo! Barracks! <laughs> 11.99. Kills. Bum, bum, bum. Golems killed. Yeah, that was like in the fade. I haven't encountered. There's like a whole slot in like a two handed warrior's like spell ab or special abilities. Whoa! Whoa! You see that over there? That is some darkness over there. There's a vase. Raspberry jam. What the... Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna shape change. Got it. Because I feel like something nasty is gonna come out of that. Oh, I'm not... Oh, man! Oh, man! Cutscene. It's gonna take away my abilities. Make them pay for every inch, man. <laughs> Hold the flank, Avernus. We need you. Nelatep obrasoth sifan net bekon. Oh my gosh, he just summoned demons. Is Andraste's blood? What? Um. More Avernus. Whatever it takes. Uh oh. Kaylee. A no, bad idea, bad idea. Oh no, bad idea. That was a bad idea. Press them! Press them now! Yep. No! I command you, fight the king's men! Fool! So much death, suffering, it's and only speaking. blood! The veil is torn now. Your soul is mine, Avernus. Avernus. 
Acolytes, retreat now. The battle is lost. Avanus! Yep. What does well, that? You oh, pushed no, him. Oh no! More fighting. You pushed him into summoning demons. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I need to play support. Zev, get over there. Um, where's my glyph of warding? Right. Um, we'll try to, okay. Um, oh my gosh, are they doing magic? It doesn't say that they're, oh my gosh, okay. Um, let's, wait, no, no. Um, oh, I wonder if that's gonna cause anything. I don't think so. Let's, um, ah, let's do this. We can include everybody in it. They're doing magic, cheaters! Okay, um, mana drain, then. Oh, come on, mana drain, mana drain, do it. Like, right there. Why can't, I'm, I'm like, looking at this guy. Do it. Okay. Okay, not too difficult. Stealth rank not high enough for what? I'm not paying attention. I should be. I am not. Let's see. Um. Oh wait. Oh, you try it. I do like stone first. Who's stunned? I think that demon is stunned. I think. Oh, uh, that's to knock him down. Oh, there we go. He resisted it. Oh, he's summoning more! Oh, that cheater! Oh, uh, stun. Uh, oh, it didn't work! The greater rage demon was stood stunning! Ah! Uh, Let's uh, get started. I need mana drain. Um, I don't have enough mana to drain him! Uh, Lyrium. Okay, um, he's dead, I think. Uh, dead warden, I'm gonna drain you too. Yeah, that works. I think it works. This should be easy No! Wait, we need to focus on this guy. What am I doing? We need to. No, 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 no. Focus. Oh my gosh, the rage demon's healing! Um. Trap triggered, but also, well, that was the glyph. That was the glyph of paralysis. Um, I also. That I need to do. No, wait. That was the other glyph that I did, right? And then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the glyph. This one. Good. It did a thing. I'm on fire! Right. Okay. Uh, quick! Let's get started. Um, let's see. Uh, also, do the big one. Do the big one. Right. What are these, like, uh, portals? Oh, do I need to, like, do something with these portals? Uh, we'll just send some lightning at you. This should be easy enough. Um, I can't mana drain from him. Uh, he's he keeps trying to go into stealth, which is I think is okay. I like not. I don't think it's preventing him from doing other things. So we can try mana drain. Oh, I think we did a little bit. Maybe that was just me regenerating. Right. Let's get started. Okay. Ooh. The warden summoned demons. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Don't believe it. And my grandmother, she knew. Um. Wardens don't forbid blood magic. Anything it takes to win. Yeah, that's this is a premonition for Inquisition, is it not? Good golly, they had a precedence for it. She was fighting for her life. I believed that my family was better than that, but answers may lay up ahead. I don't know why my character just like takes off walking sometimes. 
Um, I don't know what that is. That might send me somewhere. Now this I can do. Uh, Dead Warden. Rage Demon. Winter's Breath. That was one that I could, like, buy if I wanted to. Whoa. Okay. So that's cool. Where's the big guy? Did I get anything from the big guy? Hmm, I wonder if standing in those will send us places. I think for now, I'm gonna save it. Um, let's see. Is there anything? A book. Oh, it's part of the quest. Alright, well, let's explore this area. Oh, is that an alluvium? No way. I think it's an alluvium. Unless they just used a similar design. Lifeless bastard. Shambling corpse. Uh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, I'm gonna get interrupted. Cancel. No, wait. Uh, okay. Oh, dang, you missed it. Let's get this guy. Not this guy, right? Getting this guy, right? I'm not. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Um. Yeah, we only have one health poultice left. Did I do Zed's health poultice thing wrong? I thought I didn't. Less than or equal to 25%. Uh. I'm just not paying attention. Go down! On it. Step <laughs> Let's get started. Let's get started. Okay. You guys gonna drop anything? They die horribly. Uh, while I'm in normal form, I'll put my shield on. Doki. Raspberry jam. Eh, hey, there's a barrier over there. On um, the rumors about Commander Asturian. Oh, wait. Okay. Um. After Asturian's death, the rumors and theories became increasingly outlandish. One of the more ridiculous rumors told of Asturian's infatuation with an elven princess of lore, whom he was trying to resurrect in a secret ritual chamber through the use of blood magic and the princess's favorite food, raspberry jam. Warden Commander Frida Helwig launched a thorough investigation into Nestorian's secret plans, but was unable to uncover any evidence that anything told Rush Peak had been changed. Commander Helwig declared that the rumors about Nestorian were a slight on his memory and that anyone found repeating them would be harshly punished. The stories were thus silenced. Okie dokie. Uh, there's a book in here in the Commander's Quarters. There's another... I don't know if I can break barriers in this game. Um, is everyone already dead? Oh, hi! You're not a book. Are you? Step no further, Warden. This one would speak with you. Ah! Oh my gosh! She's the corpse! She's the possessed corpse! Um, so I don't actually know who she is. I'm gonna say, who or what are you? This one is the Dryden, Commander, Sophia. Sophia. <laughs> All these oh, things. did she allow herself to be possessed? Grandmother? You have slain many of the demon ilk to get She is here. creepy looking. This one would propose a deal. Oh, I don't know. Um, is anything of, uh, and why should I trust, a, can I ask all these questions? And why should I trust a demon? What is one woman child compared to your might? Strike me down if my terms are found. I don't like your voice. A fool this one would be to betray the warden. Olivia, I'm afraid your great-great-grandmother is possessed. That or she's really let herself go. Ha ha ha. My great-great-grandmother is dead. I don't know what that is. It's not a manifestation of her. It's actually possessed her body, I think. Is there anything of the real Sophia left inside you? This one has tasted her memories, seen her thoughts and hidden places. But she is food for this one. No more, no less. Tell me about this deal. Making deals with demons now, are we? I must say the crows have misjudged wardens. Shut up. 
You are more cunning oh, okay. and ruthless than we <laughs> suspected. Uh, carry on. Do not let me get in the way. Okay. Your crow is wise. This one will explain. Interesting. You. Okay. The soldiers peek the crow traps is me. Wise. This one sees so many tantalizing places in the Dryden's memories. This one would see the world herself. For me to be free, into the old mage tower you go and destroy. In return, this one seals the veil. Wait, what? No more demons. No more enemies. Your peak would be safe. Just let this one go into the world. Um, I'm here on behalf of Levi. Tell me about Sophia Dryden. This one knows all, but will only talk after the tower lies broken. What am I breaking? What? Uh, before I make a deal, what? Uh, what am I? Um, what am I destroying? The magics, all moving Her eyes got huge! The very stone if you have the power! Can we destroy the mage's tower? Something inside keeps my kind locked away. And what exactly will you do if I free you? This one will roam, this one will see, this one will feed. Oh. But without me, the veil will grow weaker. More demons, more misery. You choose just one of my kind, or many. Um, I should have saved before this conversation. Before I make a deal, yes. whoa, uh, you tell Levi anything he wants to know about Sophia. Warden, my family's been looking for answers for over a century, but not like this. Oh, okay. Um, oh, shoot. I wanted to ask other things. Uh, trust me. I'll support your decision either way. Agreed. Any questions Levy has of the Dryden will be answered. Um... Can you tell me anything? Oh, I can't lie! Now, I was gonna, I was gonna try the persuade and lie option. Can you tell me anything about Tower? You only must destroy. For your purpose, there is nothing more you need. Uh, sweeten the deal. The levy gets his questions answered. You get nothing more. Um, I'm off to break the tower thing? Um... We'll try it. Good, good. Nothing must live. Nash stone with teeth if you can. Zevran approves. Now this I can Whoa, do. whoa. He got, whoa, he got massive dexterity bonuses. Okay, well, I'm gonna call this one here. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that whole thing. Uh, I was gonna, I'm not gonna destroy the tower. I'll have to check out the, like, the things, but I want answers. I don't want Sophia Dryden's body to be tarnished in this way, and I don't want a demon wandering around feeding on people, if I can help it. Um... I mean, it makes sense to just have to deal with one instead of a bunch of little ones, but at the same time, like, I don't know if that's actually going to be the case, you know? Like, is the demon telling the truth or not? You know, probably not. Usually deals with demons don't go well, but I guess, I think the one, the first one I did with the desire demon, that turned out in my favor, and then the second one with the kitty one, that did not turn out in my favor making a deal. So I'm going to have to think about it. Those are the two big ones I can think of. So I have a 50-50 shot on this. But, um, and Zevran approving isn't a big deal or not. <laughs> um, but, uh, because I can just kiss him four times and he'll have those plus four points. And it'll be great. But nobody disapproved, which I'm kind of surprised Wynn didn't disapprove. We'll have to, we'll just see. I'll have to, I'll have to think about it and check and see what's going on and what it wants me to do. So, um, thanks again for joining me, you guys. I will see you in the next one.